it's coming back to buttons and knobs. It is. It is. It is coming back. Which, which I, I appreciate. Like uh, they do take feedback. I have uh, in my uh, Panamera. There's uh, the center vent. Oh yes. Is like like electronic. And, and I, I like I, the take on. And it's not like it remembers where you last left it. So every time I get in the car, I'm like fiddling with that. I'm like, why is this such a thing? Like this is so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the new season of our show History on Wheels where we uncover the rich and iconic history of all your favorite cars and bikes. So buckle up for the ride. And we have someone very special to delve into this history with us today. He needs no introduction. He's a superstar in his own right. Dr. Salman, thank you so much Hi, for Nurka. being with us today. It's an absolute honor to share this space with another petrol head. Thank I mean, you. that thank makes me, me absolutely so happy. But uh, you know, I believe you have one of these, and I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about one of the original one tens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, from when I was little. I guess cars always caught my eye. I've had some strong influences, and you see the classic Land Rovers everywhere, right? I mean, they say so, what 70, 80 percent of them still ply the streets. Yeah. Like, uh, also they're made of aluminium; they don't really rust, uh, so people can keep them going. And uh, I just loved how it looked. You know, there's something so timeless about it. And I was searching for the longest time to find one, and I think uh, around lockdown is when I finally found one. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, so it's a 2005 TD5. Uh, which is a great engine choice, um, but I think like when I was younger, going to England, you just see it everywhere, and I was like, oh my god, this would be so great in India. Yeah, it's been in many movies too. It's been Inspector, so many movies. Skyfall, did you see yeah, it there yeah, yeah. and say, I, I got to be this James Bond kind exactly. of guy? <laughs> but even even like the older, I think Bond films and. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think in Tintin, yeah. you know, there's yeah. a series one or two, yeah. and yeah, uh, yeah so it's just. Uh, and also, I mean, when I was reading about it, uh, in many parts of the world, it's the first vehicle people have ever seen, you know, because the Land Rovers make it everywhere apparently. I don't know if you've ever been to Mani Bhajang in India. Apparently, yeah. it's one of the places that has the most Land Rovers in the world right. today. The running, as, flying, as Mark One, Mark Twos. Yeah. yeah, and they fly to the border. Right. You have to see that road. It's crazy. It's narrow. It's like there's basically just enough space for those four tires. But these guys go up and down <laughs> and together and. It's an insane drive to do. Uh, yeah, and still keeping them running, right? And That's keeping them running. Yeah. Did you have to do a lot of restoration on your car? Uh, so I, I bought it from a collector, so it didn't have much of. Uh, so we've done like preventive maintenance. I've restored it uh, cosmetically. I mean, it had a lot of these checker plates everywhere yeah. and uh, some lot of decals and stuff like that. So I removed all of it. Got it, it back. Uh, to yeah. So I just want to look True mostly head. mostly like factory. I've done some bits, which is like uh, there's a company called Twisted in England. Yeah. Uh, so they kind of restore the front end a little more to the earlier uh, defenders. So it's got a bit of that. So it's a nice little mix of both. Uh, nice. It's got those sort of slightly vintage-looking wheels that I got down. Yeah, and the two yeah, lights yeah, on of the course. side. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, it's white. I was like, I want amber because yeah. you know that's more retro. And when you saw the new one, I mean, do you think it still has a lot of that old defender in it? I mean, it does have the cues, and we'll walk it around and take a, a look. It has the cues. It has the cues, but. I know there's a lot of debate about this, right? I mean, it, the earlier one was so accessible, and you know, uh, farmers used to use it and stuff like that. And now they do claim it's become a lot posher. Uh, but I, but I still think it's it's a great exercise in the sense uh, it does everything. I've driven it over all kinds of crap, and it does everything that the old one can do and more. Right, and comfortably and with comfortably great ergonomics. So, exactly. I love that you know they've retained like these cues, like you know the two lights that you always the two have lights on the sides are seen in the, the two circles cues. and squares. You know the bonnet line; it's become a lot rounder yeah. than square, I think, than before. And even, even the shoulder line, if you think about it, yeah, uh, is a cue. The shoulder line, the the you know the straight up A yeah. pillar, the roof, the, the rear. I mean, I think except for the fact that these are not sliding anymore. Right. It still has that window line, and of course this rear. And this, right? Yeah. I mean, this. Yeah. The uh, rear window area. The design area is exactly like the old one. The straight, straight, and this roof line. I think the roof line. Aren't, this aren't is vertical, iconic. vertical, like oh, sorry, boxy sort of boots the best? You know, I, you can stack suitcases upright. I agree. I'm so done with swoopy SUV. See, that's nice for when you want to go out in the evening and be stylish. Yeah. But practicality, practicality wise, yeah. I love that straight up. But I love that it's all coming back. I feel like I feel like most automakers are now going back. And I really love a tail-mounted spare because Me it too. is so easy to get off. Also, it's so Take SUV. Take it out and change your tire. You know, you don't have to access something from underneath or anything. Oh my god, it's an it's an exercise in itself. I know. We just had a flat driving back from Humpy, and it was a, quite an exercise. <laughs> so uh, I, I really like that. 
There are two petrol heads How in this car. Slow is not an option. <laughs> Than the old landing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go you, that you, you bounce. You can't turn without bumping your yeah. elbow. So, backwards. Yeah, yeah, he won't see you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's a front of the bus. I think when it first came on the scene, it was unlike anything even the English had seen, yeah. right? Because yeah. always you needed roads and you need yeah. and cars couldn't just go everywhere. Yeah, I mean this has become a monocoque now instead of ladder on frame so yeah. so much plusher. Yeah. Uh, and fantastically it's still capable because it's I mean even with that they managed to make it like three times stiffer so you know it does yeah, pretty yeah. much everything. Yeah. There's a lot of um, I think uh, debate amongst makers eh? I mean yeah. a lot of them still want to stick to ladder on frame. You want to go yeah. up like this or? Uh, no, I think we just go down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ladder on frame or monocoque. Uh, it's almost like uh, a, a true off-roader has to be a yes, ladder on frame. Yes, a ladder on frame. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. become like a talking point. Yeah, I think initially because of articulation and the kind of, you know, uh, stuff that you needed to conquer. But I, you know, with modern day technology, really, things not, have not changed. Not that many people are, are doing all that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, 80% yeah. of people who buy SUVs are not taking it anywhere anyway. <laughs> an SUV needs to go. Max over a footpath. <laughs> Where have you taken your Land Rover? Tell us. Uh, so my my the classic defender nowhere really. Okay. Uh, so also it came during. Come on, man! You have to give it a full on test. So I had yeah, but I had uh, a Pajero Sport and an 80 series Land Cruiser. So yeah. all of those, especially when I go for shoots. Yeah. Uh, I've taken it up the hills and uh, we shot on the second highest uh, uh, peak in South India. Oh, lovely! Uh, it's called Misha Puli Amale. Yeah. And uh, so it was like. 25 jeeps yeah. and all the cast and crew are dying going in them because <laughs> there's no 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 comforts whatsoever yeah. and it's a long trek it's like yeah. you go up uh, two two hills two mountains yeah. and I just went in this in this thing yeah, it was great. amazing yeah. yeah these I mean it's it's amazing it's, it's so worse. effortless right? they, like, they, they clamber up and you know sometimes it makes you look like a hero but cars really doing all doing the tough stuff yeah, 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 you know yeah. so did you know in uh, uh, Land Rover did uh, a 90 that um, they did with a propeller, a rudder and a snorkel so that the engine wouldn't go and they actually <laughs> made it as a floating car. So oh, it was wow. like, yeah, yeah, they actually did that in, in those days and I was just thinking uh, that's crazy because recently I drove uh, something called the Shop. I don't know if you've seen yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. that amphibious vehicle. Right. Pretty incredible how it goes on land and then goes is that, is that, is that floats the one? on water and it it's just you know when you're getting into the water you think no no no, no I'm gonna sink I'm <laughs> gonna sink I'm gonna sink and it actually floats you know and but paddles it. Is, is the tires that make it float? Because no, it has a massive tire. No, so it has uh, an empty chamber underneath. So you've got that air pocket there, right? And uh, then it has those uh, chains. The so it's like it okay. got like a paddle boat kind of effect that right. then propels you through the water. So cool. They just found all kinds of views for it, and then it just became, I think, really ingrained I mean, in, the in their, queen, in their this culture. This was her favorite I car, I love that right? about her. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, she. I, I had some. I've heard some crazy stories about her. So apparently, when the Saudi prince was visiting, yeah, um, she heard that women are not allowed to drive in Saudi. So she got really, really upset about it. <laughs> so when he landed there, she put him into her landy and went flat out on her <laughs> estate, and he was like begging the translator to tell her to slow down, please. <laughs> So I love those stories about Which this. Yeah. She was really cool like yeah, that. Yeah, I think she was And really she cool. drove till the very end, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And you always saw her in a Land Rover as well. With, so her, with her corgis. Yeah, yeah with yeah. her corgis. That's pretty cool. But I guess on those estates, it just did the job so well, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think there's so much to explore and, you know. Yeah. My dad put me on his lap quite young. Yeah. I think I could steer by like five or six. Uh, and then I think by the time I was nine, like, and my sister was eleven. Yeah. We there used to be a slightly elder driver, very sweet gentleman, and uh, we kept like begging, like, please teach us, please teach us. Uh -huh. So then, and there was an eight hundred, and we could just about reach. Uh -huh. uh, so I think by then we had kind of figured rowing the gears and stuff, uh -huh. uh, and then we just had to understand, uh, you know, clutch and yeah. the other pedals and everything. Yeah. Uh, so then, as soon as we learned, like, I would find every excuse, even if it's just like park the car in the house yeah. or. Uh, reverse it back. And yeah. I, I would I would find any excuse jump into a car and just yeah. like drive it. And my dad didn't know I did this. So when he found out, he was actually very cool about it. Yeah. 
so if we're like in in a closed property and stuff like uh, yeah you know, then it's okay yeah. yeah and he would he would show it off to his friends and stuff he'd be like you know when uh, when the car up and yeah. they're like what he can drive and yeah. like he's like yeah he can drive <laughs> <laughs> i know that so i guess he's a petrol head as well yeah, and, you know yeah. so that that kind of translates it. it's it's i think it's very genetic also you know i think so i think uh, so. a lot of it just comes down into like what you love and feel about cars and stuff like that want us to change and me to drive okay. so i'll drive okay moment is vip moment hai okay okay sir ami abhi nikle okay thank you just change kar raha hai driver change okay so change of role now yeah <laughs> get this off road view for you to see uh, where the transparent bonnet is maybe just shift these around a bit it it kind of gives you a no, that's just no, giving that's you a 360 that. view we don't want 3d no we don't want 3d let's go i think on the interior what i love is that you know these grab handles the the tough rugged bits yeah, a lot of a lot of storage spaces right yeah, and they retain that old school you know having the handlebar yeah. to hold in front yeah. and and stuff like that yeah a lot and of this just the materials and as you're seeing you know leather yeah the metal and yeah. you know wood and everything i love the exposed of it it's stuff yeah. it's so cool yeah and quality in this is just like top class i i love jerry mcgovern's design yeah, i yeah. think he just does it so well and effortlessly makes the old blend into the new yeah that's true i, th- I think i think that's the tough part like yeah. sometimes people go very retro and yeah. it just yeah. doesn't work yeah. uh, today and then i agree with you and that's what i think the defender really did well with that it wasn't too retro right right yeah it had enough bits and i think yeah like you said there were a lot of people worried about it being a monocoque but i think he did silence pretty much i don't think you can ever make everybody happy yeah. there's always going to be uh, two opinions yeah but also like you know the, it's been great super reliable uh, my dad daily is it yeah uh, and now my sister's picked one up and she's also like loving it and bombay traffic i love it, it just the like, visibility move right? over yeah. you know <laughs> the defenders coming yeah people just don't mess with it <laughs> been such a pleasure driving with you and i have to say that i've i drive with you anywhere anytime i'm a very bad bad seat driver so that's that's really good that i'm able to say that uh you're doing this guns and gulab tell us a little bit about that so it's this great fun gangster comedy and uh rajan dk like the mavericks so sort of that series space you know we've seen family man and farzi and all of it uh and they're great at like this uh, genre bending like it's so they blend all the different genres together and and you know create this great you know there's gangs and there's gangsters and did you have a gangster car uh i had a gypsy oh, cuz right. i i play, okay. i play like a you know narcotics officer okay uh, and i'm come it's set in a fictional town uh, we shot all over in dehradun it has this amazing cast as rajkumar rao as gulshan devaya as satish kaushik who is unfortunately no longer with us adarsh gorov <laughs> I think this will be that 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 one fun show that everybody's going to enjoy. Before we let you go, we have to do a fun petrol head rapid fire Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Just a couple of questions. Sure. So, Ice or Evie? Ice. Uh, your favorite driving song? Uh, bon Jovi. Uh, it's my life. Okay, I'm not going to ask you manual or automatic because I know the answer. It's a given. <laughs> it's a given to the to that one as well. But um, a naturally aspirated engine or the kick of a turbo? Any, any. I'm I'm too. I think too much of a. Like oral person, it was too sound is too important for me. A road trip you've been wanting to do? Uh, across Europe, uh, drive on all of these roads that did you see in all of the automotive reviews? Uh, you know, I, I, even Scotland for that matter. I have driven a little bit uh, Scotland, Inverness, and all of that, but do it properly in a proper car. What's that dream car with the dream road? I think any 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 GT Porsche manual, uh, and I I do want to drive on the tracks. So I want to drive to the ring. Uh, but there's so much hype about Stelvio Pass that I have to discover it. Uh, but some of those passes, I think, between uh, you know Switzerland, Italy, all of that. Uh, They're beautiful. And Karun keeps telling me because yeah. he's driven everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Stunning roads. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you so for much, having Yenuka. taken the time to Thank speak you. with us. We really enjoyed this. So and I've been watching you for so long. It's like it's like I know you. Like you know, you're you're my person. Well, now I know you. <laughs> yeah, I know you absolutely. a little bit better as well. And all the best for Kamsan Gulab. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Here's some fun facts about the Defender. Did you know that the original 110 was actually made as a 12-seater? And this was done so that it qualified as a bus, which meant people could avail of tax breaks. Never Everybody knows the legendary Camel Trophy race. It was a really tough off-road event and mostly saw Jeeps. But after 1981, every vehicle in that was a Land Rover. Did you know that the Defender name didn't really exist until 1990? But the history of this car goes back way before that to 1948, where you had the Series 1, Series 2 and then Series 3 Land Rovers. Now, in 1983, there was a spin-off of the Series 3 which shared the body panels but had a new grille, it had an extended track, it had coil springs, it had a two-speed transfer case and it had a centrally lockable differential as well as a one-piece windscreen. This car was really the origin of the Defender and it was called the 110, named after its 110-inch wheelbase. There was also a 90 version and a 120 version that came later but none of these were really called the Defender. It was only in 1990 when the discovery came along that the Defender got its name to avoid confusion. Yeah.